Hey everybody, William Miller, National Brand Manager with Cruiser RV. I am here with Dave Burroughs from Team MPG. We are standing outside the number one selling floor plan, just talking about what changes you will see in 2021 with the front of the coach. We took our fiberglass cap, we put a different set of graphics on the front. It is still a painted cap with a set of a coat of clear over the top. We integrated the lights into the cap and we also added a shark skin rock guard to the front. Those changes really set the front end of this coach apart. So what we did for this year, slam latch, magnetic catches, so it doesn't have to come down on your head when wind blows, but we also added this new underbelly storage. So if you need a place to put your jacks, your handles, things that you don't use normally on an everyday basis, put them in here. This goes in, cover still have all your storage. With this floor plan, you will have an outdoor kitchen, so they have talked about that. We put a sink out here, hot and cold running water. This sink drains directly into a tank, so it's not a dump sink that you have to find a place to dump it. We put a two burner out here, so you can, you can cook hot dogs, or you can warm up your chili or whatever. Also, nice little refrigerator to put your beverages in. Uh, all stores away perfect place to entertain. All right, Dave, this next point I think is most important to tell all the viewers because it has everything to do with making the life of their coach last longer. We went to a substrate called Asdale. Asdale is impervious to water, 50% lighter. It does not mildew, it does not rot. Um, no water can infiltrate that at all. I'm six foot three, and it's very easy for me to come out of this coach. Why? <laughs> well, part of the reason it is, Will, is look, we run a 30-inch door. A lot of manufacturers run a 26, 28-inch door. We run a full 30. Plus, this is a friction hinge, so the wind doesn't bother. And one thing you like coming out, solid steps. Every MPG, what we do is we laminate this rear wall. Okay. So this is part of the structural feature. A lot of manufacturers, what they do is they just put the wall up and they hang fiberglass over it. We don't do that. This is all part of the lamination. It really makes a nice, long-lasting coach. Let's start in the back of the coach and talk about what makes it a BH. Well, BH stands for bunk house. And in the 2500, this is a nice family coach. Open bunk concept in the back. Double over double, our bunks hold 275 pounds. So they would hold me. Yeah, so they would hold you. Maybe you're gonna have uh, some friends come along with you going camping. So what we did for this year is we went to solid press tops in the kitchen area, uh, farmhouse sink of course. In the cabinets, we changed up the handles. Another feature that we have that a lot of manufacturers delete is a real backsplash. This is not just a piece of paper. Also, nice residential style appliances. So when you're going out there camping, you get all the features of home. What innovations or focus do you guys have in delivering a new dinette for 2021? A lot of room for setting. We put these nice corner blocks in. You can set an extra person here, sit here and play your board games, eat, whatever. But what we also do is in our slides, our slides are wide, they're tall, and we put windows in. All of them open, all of them are G20 tenants, so you get some uh, relief from the sun. So what we've done is, this is all prepped out for a TV. Okay. So you want to put your TV in, um, which TVs are optional for us. You put your bracket right here. We added a sound bar for this year, so we took the speakers out of the ceiling. Okay. There's four speakers in here. But the biggest thing is the pass-through. Because if your campers bring like a PlayStation, normally they'd have to take the TV down. Now they just plug the wire in here. If they want to listen to music out there, they just plug in their smartphone there. Ooh. 